for folks who have little expertise or knowledge of how to acquire muscle and weight. Abandoning strength training is an all too common narrative. After several months of attempting to gain weight, most people give up. That's a shame because the information is the only thing keeping the person from growing. Keep watching the video in its entirety to find out all the reasons your muscles aren't growing. Following an exercise, your body uses a biological mechanism to repair or replace injured muscle fibers by fusing muscle fibers to form new muscular protein strands. The thickness and numbering of these repaired protein strands cause muscle growth. Muscle development occurs when the rate of muscle protein synthesis exceeds the rate of muscle protein degradation. When lifting weights, on the other hand, this adaptation does not occur. Instead, it happens when you are asleep. The ability to consistently put increasing tension on the muscles is at the heart of all natural muscle growth. This stress is critical in muscle growth and upsets your body's equilibrium. Stress and the resulting breakdown of homeostasis trigger three distinct pathways that promote muscle development. Calorie deficit. About 90% of lifters' complaints about not being able to get bigger and stronger can be solved by increasing their calorie intake. To stay at your current weight, your body needs many calories. Basal metabolic rate, BMR, is a statistic that changes from person to person depending on weight, muscle mass, activity level, age, and other factors. You will lose weight if your calorie intake is less than your BMR. A calorie deficit is what this is called. Conversely, you will gain weight if your daily calorie consumption exceeds your BMR. A calorie surplus is what this is called. How many calories does your body need? Using our BMR calculator is the most straightforward approach to figuring out your BMR. This calculator calculates your daily calorie requirements using the Harris-Benedict formula, one of the most precise techniques. Calculate your daily calorie requirements with the calculator. Most individuals are startled by how many calories they require merely to stay alive. Let's concentrate on your objective. If you want to increase muscle and weight, your calorie intake must exceed your calorie expenditure. Add 500 to the figure the calculator provided you. This is how many calories you should consume each day in order to gain muscle. Poor diet. In general, if you eat too many calories every day and exercise regularly, you will gain weight. However, if you're not consuming the correct nutrients, you'll likely restrict your potential, gain excess body fat, and fail to gain enough lean muscle. Protein, carbohydrate, and fat, PCF, ratios are ideal for organizing your muscle building diet. The ideal muscle growth ratio, in my opinion, is 30, 50, 20. This means that protein accounts for 30% of your total calories, whereas carbohydrates account for 50% and fats account for 20%. All you have to do now is divide those amounts among six to seven meals every day. See our post on how to design a bodybuilding diet for more information on how to build a diet. Meal distribution. It's just as essential when you eat as it is what you consume. The days of eating three square meals are a thing of the past. According to research, eating more little meals helps promote a rapid metabolism and helps maintain, lose, and gain weight. Consider your body as a wood fire. When you put too much wood on the fire at once, it burns slowly and sluggishly. However, if you progressively add additional wood as the fire grows in size, it burns more efficiently and grows in size. The truth is that you can. All it takes is a little forethought. You can cook and store food in a variety of ways for meals throughout the day. Spend a few hours on a Sunday afternoon preparing your week's meals and snacks. Weight gain shakes are another possibility. Nothing beats putting some water in a shaker with some powder, shaking it up, and sipping it. Meal replacement shakes with excellent protein, BCAAs, glutamine, and carbs typically comprise around 600 calories. It's a complete dinner in a cup. All you need are a couple of shaker bottles, some powder, and some water to consume while on the job. Simple. You're not getting enough water. Water is nature's miracle supplement, as it is required for a variety of body activities. Unfortunately, many lifters overlook the necessity of being hydrated before entering the gym. If you become dehydrated right before a workout, you won't have enough time to rehydrate. Staying hydrated should be a top focus from the moment you get out of bed. Dehydration is a significant issue that might result in death in the worst case scenario. 
It's simple to drink enough water, and there's no reason why you can't do it. Simply take a bottle with you wherever you go and sip from it throughout the day. Dehydration can be caused by several supplements, such as creatine. If you're using creatine monohydrate, you should drink more water. Bad workout routine. Selecting the correct routine for your body type, training experience, and objective is critical. Many beginner lifters obtain their training routines from professional bodybuilder magazines and articles. Unfortunately, these routines aren't suited for beginners. They'll just waste your time, energy, and frustration. It's also crucial to be aware of and understand your body type's peculiarities. Different body types respond to various training approaches. It's possible that what works for your pals won't work for you. No shock to the muscles. The process of gaining muscle is merely the body's response to greater stress. In the gym, you stress your muscles, which causes them to grow larger to cope. Your body adapts quickly to any changes, including your workout. Once your body has adjusted to your workout program, it will no longer see the need to gain muscle mass or strength. Therefore, you must alter your behavior. You should adjust your workout when you stop gaining stronger or heavier, or after roughly eight to 10 weeks. If you're doing your workout for 12 weeks and you're still growing, don't change it. Everyone is still different, so don't change it if you're still growing. Focus on slow progression. Progression is essential for muscular growth. Without it, you will not be able to expand. The steady increase in weight, stress, and intensity required to notify your body that it needs to create more muscle is referred to as progression. Every week, you should try to improve at least one component of your workout. It might be increasing the weight or increasing the reps, but something has to be done. This is where keeping a training journal comes in handy. Before each workout, review what you did the previous week, including the exact weights and reps. Then, choose the areas in which you wish to improve and go to the gym to work on them. Bad technique. You're doing all the exercises, but are you doing them correctly? Every movement must be performed in an appropriate form if you want to apply the maximum amount of stress on the muscle and avoid major injury. Don't imitate what other gym goers are doing. This is how unhealthy habits propagate. Sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation lowers stamina and endurance, believe it or not. So, even if you believe you're working hard enough in the gym, it won't benefit you if you aren't well rested. Your muscles expand in size and strength while you sleep. On the other hand, sleep deprivation disrupts your metabolism, affecting your muscular growth. So, while getting enough sleep is essential, sleeping in the proper posture is as crucial. Not making use of proper tension. If you merely lift heavy weights for short periods of time and do not include stress in your exercise, you will quickly reach a plateau and cease gaining muscle. Heavy, low repetition labor with lots of rest between sets isn't the way to go if you want to acquire excellent size. Disassociate yourself from this mindset and any obsession with managing constant maximum weights, whether in singles or low repetitions, where weight is the drive rather than labor explains Bill Kazmier, former world champion powerlifter. The solution? Don't focus on lifting additional weight because this raises the risk of joints and connective tissue damage. Instead, work on the muscles you want to strengthen using a mix of lesser weights and stress. A variety of variables can impact muscle development. However, despite lifting weights in the gym, these are the most prevalent factors that have a negative impact on muscle mass development. In fact, according to a McMaster University study published in PLOS 1, increasing excellent muscle mass does not necessitate lifting big weights at all. So keep these principles in mind and you'll be able to break through your plateau. Let us know your thoughts on these reasons in the comments.